Good afternoon. I'm back for another experiment here. And what I want to do first is show you how I'm uh, making my uh, borax separators. And uh, then we'll make one and, uh, and test it. So what I've got here is a piece of uh, typing paper soaked in borax. And uh, it doesn't appear that the concentration of borax is that, is that critical. It seems to work with a wide range. Uh, what I've got here is titanium dioxide and glue in a, uh, in a thin solution. And I'm going to put that on first because I wanted the first, uh, I'm putting on two coats now instead of one thick coat. I'm putting on two thinner coats. And it seems to work a little better. So we're going to pour on just a little bit here and give this a coat. you get it spread around fast and it don't gum up on you too fast. Alright. Alright, I'm back. I just discovered something else that's kind of interesting. I've made both sides of this uh, membrane now and what I discovered is that after you put on that first thin coat and let it set up a little bit to where it's not tacky and sticking to your fingers and then you can take just a drop of water like this and put on maybe two drops of water and then spread that over the surface and it smooths it out I mean really smooths it out and you get a really glossy uh, surface so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put on a second coat We're gonna, I'm going to test this with just one thinner coat on it and see whether this uh, whether smoothing that thin coat out makes it a better membrane or not but uh, before I test it I'm going to let it set up and dry for a little while just to uh, make sure the membrane is set good and then we'll come back and we'll run a test on this baby and see if how it does so I'll be back all right I'm back and we're ready to rock and roll. Graphite on the graph oil and we're going to put a well no let's not let's just put it on like it is I was going to put another drop of water on it I think on this side I'm going to put a drop of water in. Where does that make it slick? Alright. Here we go. Alright, let's see what we got. And we are at 81, 9, 82, it's starting to climb. Let's let it climb up and uh, to where it stops, and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. It didn't climb much more, but it did go up some. We're at 80.846. All right, here we go. 52. That's not a bad start. Let's hope the hope the membrane holds up. Uh, eight four seven volts, fifty two milliamps. Usually these things peak around twice to two and a half times what the initial voltage are. At least the ones that I've tested for twelve cycles or more. So this one should peak at uh, hundred milliamps or hundred and twenty five, something like that. We'll find out. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back and looks like we stabilized again. This time at 0.824. Alrighty. Well, let's call it 825. 
Uh, huh. Well, it's still climbing. I thought it'd slow down lower than that. Alright, 0.826. Here we go. And 45. So it dropped a little bit, but that's not too unusual for the second reading. No, that's in point eight uh, two six volts. All right, I'll be back when it's charged up again. All right, come back, and we're almost back to the same voltage we were on the last one. Point eight two five. We tested at eight two six last time. So it's pretty much the same. All right, 0 0.825, and our amps are 41. So again, a slight decrease, which is really not too far out of the ordinary. But if it's going to be a better uh, separator though, uh, the signs of a good separator are the voltage eventually reverses and starts climbing and the amps keep and start climbing up. So, so far we've got a slight drops in amps. I'll be back. Uh, and I'm back again. And now we have 1827 0.828 so it looks like we've started to reverse the voltage and it's starting to go back up 829 we'll measure it right there and our amps are 72 alright there's our first increase in amps and it's usually right there at that point where it starts to reverse the voltage 72 so and that was 829 I think alright so it looks like this um, this uh, film here is going to hold up with one thinner coat and it may be because I rubbed the uh, water on it and sealed the, the pores a little better or something but uh, we're going to give it another whirl. If that would have gone down right there, I'd say that the that the uh, the, the uh, membrane was failing. But we got a we saw an increase right there. So let's try it again and see if it goes on up. All right, I'll be back. All right, back again. And this time it looks like we might have trouble. I say that because our voltage we're having a hard time getting above. Uh, point uh, 8.807 it's like the, the uh, time between the intervals between the jumps is, uh, is, is higher than uh, so let's measure it right there and see what the amps are 8.09 if the amps are falling then uh, we've got a failing membrane alright here we go 3, 2, 1 44. Yep, looks like the membrane is failing. And 0.807. Uh, we'll test it one more time just to make sure, but that's my guess. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back again. And this time we're still got a dropping voltage and that's not a good sign you see it's at 0.793 and really struggling to climb up to like 15 seconds now between uh, changes so we're going to measure it at uh, 0.7794 we'll call it that Seven nine four and three 
82 1 82 well maybe I'm wrong now we've got another peak but uh, what was that 794 it did peak again so maybe it's just taken a long time to uh, restructure itself and then it will eventually climb back up need to plot this uh, calculate the watts and plot that I think that would tell us some more information but uh, damn now we got to go on and do another another run all right I'll be back again all right I'm back but before I test it I wanted to uh, talk about these results here a little bit we know f for a fact that there was some type of a, a, a crystal change in the cell that took place here on this fourth uh, cycle when we got a big jump in uh, milliamps and it occurred to me while I was waiting for this to, to charge back up that maybe the reason that we're seeing this con uh, voltage continue to drop here is because this new crystal structure can hold more energy and I'm just not giving it long enough to charge back up okay so what I did this time was I'm, I waited longer and all right in three two one at 42 uh-huh see if we drop now on and the next time we measure this we could see another jump again but uh, so I'm going to measure it again for the hell of it but uh, alright and I'm back and I waited it out again till we got back to the same uh, voltage so we get three of the measurements at the same voltage and we are now at as you can see 79 we well, have stabilize here but 79 5 or actually one thousandths higher about so about the same voltage now let's see what our reading is and see if we can see a trend now all right here we go and one two three thirty four uh -huh. so it looks to me like what's happening here is the the uh, crystal structure is forming okay in the battery but I think the uh, membrane is slowly failing too and so it was kind of a battle but it took uh, took eight cycles before it, that became obvious that what was happening on that so but uh, considering this is a thinner uh, thinner membrane with a thinner membrane it just needs some more work now I'm going to take it apart here and you can see that it it comes off a little easier with the uh, water on it but it, the membrane peeled right off on the on the plate and it's still damp in there too see that's free titanium dioxide on that and that so maybe drying that a little longer would help I don't know but uh, I'll play with it and uh, when I have something for sure I'll run this experiment again for you. Thanks for watching.